The follow-up is simple. Ask a question, listen to the answer, then follow up. I'm your host, Noah Kozlov. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Follow-Up Podcast. I'm Eden, and this is my dad, Noah, and every week we sit on my bed and have a different conversation about something I want to talk about. And this week, we're going to talk about the end of first grade, and soon I'm going to be in second. All right, so first grade was, we've, we've talked about how crazy of a year on that it's off, been. On and off, on and off. Starting remote, and then and having... Like going, a little in person, like five every two, three weeks, and then like one week on, one week off, and then full in person. Right, so, you, went, so, right, so you went through a lot. So you went through a lot. A lot. So before we really look back at all a lot of things that you learned and some of your favorite things and some of the things maybe that you didn't even like. Do you feel like you're ready for second grade? Yes, I do. Why? Because I went through what has happened this year and I've learned that what happened in first grade and I feel like I'm ready for second grade. Your teachers tell you, we think you're ready for first grade. I mean, we think you're ready (laughs) for second grade. (laughs) Yes. Right? Okay. So what were the types of things that this year that you learned in school that makes you think that you're ready for second grade? So, so let's start with um, writing. Writing. Okay, this is a little bit of a hard one, but I'll think about this one. So in writing, like writing series books, which are chapter by chapter, I, not just in series books, but I wrote some chapter books. So I think expanding my books, mm-hmm. I've learn better for second grade writing like learning like the capital and then making the lowercase like writing like how i was doing like there's like a dotted line I think oh handwriting like, handwriting yeah handwriting sure right and what to capitalize Books. and what not yeah but what about in your so i want to continue with your series books so what did you learn about as you wrote those series books developing stories characters that type of thing that you think has really helped you as a writer. Like, expand on, like, the thought of making a story. Like, think about the books, like, the books that I have on my bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Like, think, how did they make the story? And add, like, dialogue and actions. And, like, how did they make it? Expand on the story. Mm -hmm. And think, just make it up. Yeah, and what about... It's like the characters... We did realistic fiction. What about the characters? And, like, the characters, like... What are their feelings? How are they going to feel about the problem? What are they going to say? Mm -hmm. What are their actions going to be to react to the problem? I like that. Because every story has characters, has a a setting, has a problem, has then how you're going to solve the problem, and has a conclusion. Right. Exactly. Right. A conclusion. A solution. Right. they've, They've solved it. Yeah. And how about in... Math. Did they talk to you about what you're going to be learning in, in second grade? They haven't talked about that. Mm-hmm. But I think I've grown on what you taught me, multiple, like, grown on multiplication. Mm-hmm. And I've learned with the clock of how you can solve it, like, with the 11s. Not with the, well, that's not on the clock, but with the 5s. Uh-huh. Right. That helps. Or, like, if you know the 5s, then that helps you with the 6, adding another. Mm-hmm. Like, 5 times 5 is 25. But 5 times 6 is 30 because you're adding another group. Mm-hmm. So it just helps from expanding from, like, the 5s to the 8s or something. It just helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good trick. It's a good the trick. Cl- the clock. So, if, so this is, lot. so maybe we could, let, let's teach that trick. <laughs> so last summer, I had said to you, we're going to learn, we're definitely going to learn how to do three things. This was last summer. You're going to learn how to tell time on a regular clock, on an analog clock. And I did do that. A, you're going to learn how to tie your shoes, and you're going to learn how to ride a bike. So when we were started to do some multiplication, I said, well, you know how to read the numbers on the clock. Right. So when the minute hand is at the seven, oh. that's seven times five. So how many minutes past the hour is the seven? Right. Right. So you would then know that's 35 minutes past the hour, So right. that's and that's seven times five. Nine times five, 45. That's 45 minutes past the hour. So that was, a, that was a good trick to learn some yes. things. Yeah. And, and your teacher said to continue doing more and more word problems so that you can use your math in practical day-to-day situations. And I think word problems also help with expand, like expanding on things and learning more about them. Yeah. And also, and and also practice. 
Sure. Also organizing your organizing your thoughts. And, and thinking knowing, about the numbers and what the equation is. Uh-huh, what the and equation is. And how to is. solve it with the other numbers combined. Exactly. Right. And sometimes there's something in a word problem that has nothing Not to do with the answer do. so you've got to think so like to think well does that have anything to do with right. it nope let's eliminate that let's not let, it's almost like let's in not a, think about that it's like in we've been watching crime scene kitchen right so, so oh maybe, this isn't open so okay let's eliminate that let's take that out of our brain right so they're trying to trick you right they're trying no, you to gotta, trick you gotta learn that okay what like if, there was like a coconut coconut shavings that was not open Right, so they didn't use that in the dessert. A long person got tricked. Good show, Crime Scene Kitchen on Fox. It is very good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's on, we're just DVR. Yes. And what about what about socially with friends? About how did you what did you learn about growing up this year and how to deal with friends? Kind of with things like at lunch and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just like how to deal with things like problems with your friends. Mm-hmm. And I think since we've been in the cafeteria. I've been closer to my friends because I sit all next to them Mm -hmm. and I get to expand on more conversations so that makes them more, like, I can talk to them more. Is is expand the word of the day today? It's a good word. Expand. Is that the word of the day today? I think it is. Yeah, I think. Because I think I've been saying it a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, yeah, so you can have have more conversations. Uh And then that, like, I go to the park and I see them so that, like, gives us, like, something also to talk about and expand more on Mm -hmm. the conversation. And and what about... um, what you've learned about friendship and some things that we've talked about with friendship. Friendship. Like, think about who you want to be friends with and who you don't. Who you trust and who you don't. Mm -hmm. And who you would play with in everyday life and who you wouldn't. Right. And who who might be somebody that you just... is is part of the group that you're playing with, fine, but you might not be interested in playing with that person one-on-one because maybe you don't trust them or maybe yeah. you like playing with somebody but you wouldn't trust them with your your feelings yeah. but they're a good person to have a catch with you know things like that and I, and I think that was that's a very very important skill to learn and you never just learn it and then it disappears that's something no, that you that's something that sticks with you forever and you always keep building on that of learning who to trust and and look sometimes it's going to happen you're going to get burned by it meaning like I thought I could trust that person and they did something that hurt me and now I know I can't trust and that person. They, and they just blew me away. Right. So that, and that so, always sticks in your mind. It's not, it's, but it's something, it never goes away. Right. And you it's never some, forget it's it. It's something you'll learn, you'll continue to experience. Because I think the, I think the, as much as you learned in school, I think the social aspect of it is just as important. Just being in person, being around other kids, developing relationships solving your own solving your own problems and not just being able to close the screen and you know not see them anymore in first like just say in school Mm -hmm. let's say elementary school yes like what were you learning about friendship with your friends oh good question um okay so in first grade so some of my closest friends are still my friends from first grade so i was in first in my first grade class on the alex alex was in my first grade class Todd was in my first grade class until I think it was the second day at recess. There were too many kids in the classes, so they added another class. So when you came back from recess one day, they said, if there's a piece of tape, a mass piece of masking tape on the corner of your desk, that means you're going to Mrs. Newman's class. I was in Mrs. Wilkie's class. And Todd went to, or maybe it was Mrs. Turner's class. No, he went to Miss Newman's class. Because I think Brandon was in that class and so was John. And so Todd went to that class, but John from first grade, Brandon from first grade, Alex, Todd, um, and you know, and Adam and Josh are still from well, Alex too from, uh, from like pre K. So those are you know those friends of mine. I've you know that's still our group. Those you know those are the guys I'll be with in Florida soon, and those were that type of friendship. But we'll talk about it as you, as you get older. We were always close. But there were times when we all had different priorities and kind of drifted away from each other, but we always knew that we always trusted each other and had right. each other's backs, but we weren't spending all of our time together like we did when we were when we were younger. Which is okay. Which is okay, it's exactly. because you're still friends with them and you still trust them. Yeah. And, you don't, and what you learn is you don't have to spend all your time with them. Right. 
You have other friends. You have other friends. Other interests, other friends. Yeah, interests. Right. And, but, and you're still friends with them. Yeah, and, and your friends, you don't necessarily, you can have, like, so many different groups of friends. Like, I had friends that I knew from tennis. I had friends that I knew from Hebrew school. I had friends from camp, friends from school. So it's good to have... A bunch of yeah, different, different group, friends. groups of friends, yeah. And then, like, you deal with one a few days... And then you go to the rest. Right, you can you can spread them out, and then sometimes they spread all be, then sometimes they all become friends, and you know it just people friends as, as you spread to another friend that's yours, and then they spread and spread and spread until right. everybody's friends. And that's and which is also nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is also nice. Then you can all meet together. But I don't remember what else I learned in. I don't remember what else I learned like, in first grade. Like, do you know, grade. like, like reading? Like, no, I, I don't like, remember. I don't. I don't I remember. Know. I just remember Mrs. Wilkie. I remember in second grade we had Miss Daldell, and. I remember her being like a little mean, but how's that? Uh, like she didn't really have great patience. It didn't <laughs> seem like, but I do remember we had our first. Uh, we had a class newspaper that we wrote artic- like articles for. I'm sure I wrote some sort of sports article, and she was also the teacher. Remember, I showed you the note from her. I think that grandma. Oh yeah, the kept, second grade writing. Right. That's or is it, it math? It was writing that, and she said, uh, "Noah, I'm I'm very." disappointed in your handwriting it seems like you don't even care something like that and grandma kept that note and then uh, you got something for math but for I, doing a good job in math yeah, it's, yeah maybe I, don't I was good at math then but I don't know if that was in second grade no, I, don't I, don't, remember I, don't remember I don't remember either, either. Oh, yeah but yeah grade. elementary school was great and I'm looking forward to you continuing on and mm-hmm. building on the things that you've learned in class here and uh, and socially too mm-hmm. and now you're ready you ready for summer vacation it's gonna be a good one. All right, I love you.